So recently I hit 5,000 subscribers, and I've been doing YouTube for a little over 4 years now. And although I don't consider myself an experienced brick filmer, I do have a lot of knowledge that I can pass on. So, to celebrate my 5,000 subscribers, I decided to do a 5 important tips that you should know if you want to try and get where I am as a brick filmer. Number 1. Do it different or do it better. You're not going to get anywhere on YouTube doing the same thing as anyone else. You either have to do it different or you have to do it better. All the brick filmers that you're subscribed to, why are you subscribed to them? Is it because they do the same as everyone else? Or is it because they have a unique way of animating, a unique way of storytelling, or a unique way of putting out videos? Look at Flapjack Films. At the time of recording this, he has about 50,000 subscribers. And that's no laughable number. But is his animation incredibly smooth and high quality? No. But the reason he has such a high amount of subscribers is because he's funny, his videos are unique and different. They're not like the same type of videos you would find on any other channel. They're interesting. It's his style of content. Same with the Kosh Lego Productions. I'm pretty sure everyone watching this video is probably subscribed to him. Now his animation is not amazing. It's not forest fire level, but he has over a thousand subscribers. This is because of his story. The way he crafts his Marvel Universe, almost the same way the MCU has been crafted. In a very detailed way that keeps viewers engaged. Not because the animation is amazing, but because the story is amazing. And the story is entertaining. Number 2. Adapt to the times. My most popular video at the time of this recording is the LEGO Avengers Infinity War in 4 minutes. Now I wasn't planning to make this video. But when I saw my Avengers Infinity War video that I already uploaded got over 100,000 views, I thought it would be best to put out another Infinity War video. Another popular video I've uploaded recently is a LEGO Fortnite Battle Royale. This has over 100,000 views as well. And these videos aren't a part of my Marvel series, they're not original creations, they're videos I made because of what was trending at the time. A lot of my most popular videos with over tens of thousands of views are ones that I release at the same time as a movie's release date. This is because people are interested in that topic at that time. Same with Fortnite Battle Royale. Fortnite has been a huge view mine, especially for YouTubers. It's your job to find something like this and then put your own spin on it, turn it into your own Lego animation. This way you're going to get noticed more often and gain more subscribers more quickly. There's no point in putting out a Justice League video when Avengers Infinity War comes out. If you put out your Justice League animation when Justice League comes out, it's going to get a lot more views. That's how it works. You have to know what's interesting. You have to know what people are looking for at what time. Number 3. Commitment equals subscribers. Now if stop motioning is your hobby, and just do it for the fun of it, then that's fine. But you can't expect to get too far in subscribers. You need to be consistent and have commitment to your videos. Right now, I get about two videos out every month. This helps me to keep a steady growth rate of my subscribers. If I stopped uploading for a month or two months or even three, my subscriber growth rate would go down significantly. The more you upload, the more chances you have of getting seen. Number four, work with what you have. You don't need a bunch of LEGO Creator Expert sets to make a background, and you don't need every set out there to get all the minifigures. As you can see by my Infinity War in 4 minutes video, I clearly didn't have all the Infinity War minifigures, but you work with what you have. Write your script to work around what characters you have. Write your script to work around your ability of animation. Write your script to work around your camera and what angles you can get. Make your videos so they take advantage of all your skills and so they don't show up with all your weaknesses. If you write your video to play off your best parts and your best ways of animation, then your videos are going to come across as a lot more professional and as a lot more well done. Number 5. Interact with your fans. You need to feel like an actual person so when your fans find you, they can actually get behind you. Create an Instagram or a Twitter so more of your fans can reach you. And if they have questions, 
leave comments, or DM you on any of your platforms. Make sure you try to respond as often as you can. If you grow a special connection with your fans, they're more likely to stay with you and follow you for longer, keep watching your videos, and give you more support along the way. Maybe even tell their friends and family about you. It's important to stay active on all your platforms. If you can't upload a video for a month, let them know by posting about it on your Instagram or Twitter. You need to make sure they know what's going on. If you just stop uploading all of a sudden, they'll lose interest in you quickly. Anyway, that's just five tips from someone who's been doing YouTube for a while and knows a bit about LEGO animation. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. We still have half the year to hit 10k. I also wanted to let you guys know that when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm hoping to get some merch up and running. Posters and t-shirts and whatever else you guys want. So let me know down in the description what kind of merch and what items you would want me to sell and how much you would be willing to pay for these items. And if you like LEGO animations, I upload Marvel, DC and Star Wars brick films along with other videos at least twice a month. Thank you for watching and thank you for getting me here. It does mean a lot to me. I can't wait to keep making quality and fun animations for all of you in the future. Thanks again, and that's Brizard signing out.